Hi, welcome to Blast Beat ATX, aka Blast Beat Industries. I'm still Brian. This is still Bitter End, and we're doing the second of our third unpacking with Blast Beat ATX videos. This time it's the NFL and the 2019 Absolute Football set. I I don't know. Every year there's a set I fall in love with. And maybe that's a too strong a word, but I, I really like the design of the Absolute this year. Now, if you look right there, one autograph or memorabilia card per pack. I have all this season got the memorabilia cards. I've been, I, I told you all this last week, I've been on a cold streak for autographs, so I'm not expecting much today. I'm just expecting fun, and I don't know, I think I'm probably at least halfway through the set. Might as well just go ahead and complete it. So in the meantime, let's open this sucker up. Now, just like in the NBA video, I got my little contest pieces or my landing pads. I try to do it. It's going to end up a big mess. I promise you that. I try to do stuff I'm going to sell, stuff I'm going to keep, and stuff I got to figure out what I'm going to do with it later on. But for those unfamiliar with this stuff, this is what they mean by sealed. There, it's completely surrounded by plastic. It usually has the manufacturer's logo or name on it. In this case, Panini America makes the absolute set. So we're going to bust this open. Maybe. I can't grab it. Let me, let me, let me a stabbing tool real quick. There we go. Bam. Now, taking off the plastic. We don't need that. I'm going to drop all this junk on the floor. Absolute 2019. What, eight packs? And let me... Yeah, throw the whole thing on the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packs, eight cards per. Do do. So, pack number one. I'm probably not going to stutter my way through this one like the NBA video. When I open those NBA hoops packs, I definitely learned that I need to do more research about the current NBA situation. So, don't need that. See, these things, they stack up. So, who do we got? We got Devontae Adams. Russell Wilson. Ooh, ooh. Antonio Brown. Mean Joe Green. These over and the rookies: Dre Greenlaw, Ed Oliver, Alexander Madison. Oh, so that can just you know we'll leave that here. And Antonio Brown too. I've got several Antonio Brown cards on my uh, eBay page, and they are ice cold. They I couldn't give those things away. Hell, if you want this one, leave a comment below and give me your email address and I'll send it to you. But Russell Wilson, Mingo, Joe Green, they're going for sale. And sleeving up my rookies. I've showed you in the past. If I remember to, I'll dig them out. I'm stockpiling the rookies from this year. See what I mean about this? A really slick design. And it's the all all foil silver ones are the base ones. All the, the green and gold parallels, they have the white border. I think that's what does it compared to the other. I, I traditionally like the Donner's football sets, but there's something about the 2019 one that is just it doesn't strike my fancy. You know, I got I think I bought one of these blaster boxes of it, and eh, I can live with that. I'd rather stick with this set. I'm having way more fun with this one. So pack number two. Dexter Williams. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, oh, that's our rookie. I'm upside down here. Bam. Drew Locke. Cameron Smith. Miles Boinkin. Uh, let me set that one here for a moment. What do we got here? Hey, there's my man. There's my man who won the game today. Your AFC South champion, Houston, Texas, DeAndre Hopkins. Yeah, and the guy who lost the game today, Jameis Winston. Josh Allen. Ooh, 
Green Foil Parallel Amari Cooper. So, this is what I mean about figure out later. I may hang on to this Amari Cooper. Now, I, I gotta reach back here. I am definitely hanging on to Drew Locke. Like Gardner Minshew, he is a rookie who is starting. And like Kyler Murray, he is not in intensive care. So, I think kind of what you want out of a young quarterback is just don't die. So, bam. Can't call that no base hit. All right, Josh Allen, you're for sale. Jameis Winston, you're for sale. And get an extra puzzle piece here. And DeAndre Hopkins, I'm holding on to. That's my guy. And more of the rookies of 2019. Boing. All right, now we're going into pack number three. There's a little print run date, August of 2019. Keenan Allen. Khalil Mack, Andy Dalton, that's John Elway, I'll be hanging on to that one, the king of the fourth quarter comeback, then a Josh Allen, Kareem Butler, Jalen Ferguson, Keelan Ross, uh, Nothing spectacular on the rookies, but I got a John Elway that will go with the other ones. I have gotten a lot of the... Akeem Butler, this guy here, I have several of his rookie cards, a couple of jersey cards, some nice stuff. Long and short on him is he was, I think, a second-round draft pick, high in the draft, but he broke his hand at training camp, and he's out for the season. And... I'm wondering if that may actually play in his benefit because he's been on the team and he's used to life in the NFL, but he hasn't had his head kicked in his freshman year, you know? So who knows? He may have a good year next year. Then again, he may get cut from the team. We'll never hear from him again. Time will tell. So we're heading what? Pack number four? Pack number four. Maybe this is why I like the 2019 absolute set is like half the set is rookies. I think I got as many of these as the, you know, the veteran players and in the inserts. Uh -oh. Can you see that? Let me, this is what the pack searcher looked for. See that big thick card in there. I think we got our memorabilia card. Miles Sanders, Travis Homer, Tyree Jack, Tyree Jackson. That name rings a bell. Rookies here. Hey, Marlon Mack. I actually like him. Ben Roethlisberger. I'm indifferent about him. And then the two veterans. Oh, snap. Well, Juju Smith-Schuster. Before I show you this, ah, a look. <laughs> This guy has a life outside of football. I can't remember the name of it. He's in like the Laser Clan or something like that. He's a big esports video game guy. So 10, 20 years from now, he may be no more known for that than for his football career. So we're going to put him in the sale pile. What's not going in the sale pile is my man Tommy B. Boom. This is one. I don't know if you've noticed. On my eBay page, and let me remind you again, I only do sales on eBay. I don't do off the grid, outside the system, cowboy stuff, because that's that's where the damage happens on both sides. No one's happy with that, you know. It needs need to play by the rules. At least we're going to play with me. But I don't have any Tom Brady's for sale. You know why? I am stockpiling them like crazy. 
You know, it. he's up there with Michael Jordan and Mickey Mantle of greatest of all time, most popular of all time. It. I, I, my advice to y'all, my Christmas present to y'all, don't sell your Brady's. Yeah, that's, if you've got 20 copies of these, that's fine. But if you just need a couple bucks, there's other ways to go donate blood or something. You know, don't don't sell your Tom Brady's. I'm not selling mine. I am selling Ben Roethlisberger. Well, yeah. maybe not. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm a sucker for the foily shiny stuff. See, look at that laser shine. He's going to the pile with Amari Cooper. I don't know what to do with you yet. Eh, let me get the rookies first. See, condition, condition, condition. We open the pack, immediately goes in the sleeve. Am I burning through sleeves? Yes. But these things are dirt cheap. If they're... Walmart has these things for two bucks a pack. You buy them in bulk online, the price goes down from there. The, the supplies are as important as the cards themselves. That's how you keep everything nice. So our man Andy Isabella here. Yeah, I hadn't heard of him either. But that is ready to go to the grader and get a PSA 10. I'm not saying grade him. That's not my point. My point is, is that is it rolled off the printer. It went from the printer to the store to here to here. That's the, the chain of custody of that card. That's how you keep it nice. You don't have it rolling around in a backpack or the backseat of a car in your pocket. Or don't leave it hanging loose. Now, who remembers the trick from my Relic video of how you store these things? Take a sleeve. I use the card savers. If you like the snap tights or whatever, that's your business. But we're going to store it in the card saver. So you take two of the puzzle pieces, basic lands, whatever you got, you know, some common from the 80s you could care less about. We're putting them in here to wedge open, op, wedge open the sleeve with an opening like a duck bill. Quack, quack. And we're taking our card. Oh, that is cool. Look at that. This is the football. Nice. Gently setting it in between the two cards here. Getting in the sleeve. See, we're in there. Pull it out. Pull it out, put it down. Use your just use your fingers, open up that card saver, and drop it in. So this one, not for sale. I'm hanging on to that. Wow. PC stuff's looking nice. Elway, Hopkins. Drew Locke rookie, Tommy B, it, part of Marlon Mack's football. I guess technically it's the NFL's football. Does it say it on here? I love it. Yeah. Player used material. And the jersey cards, I love that. Player worn material as opposed to game worn. I interpret that as they, you know, wore the jersey to the opening of a Jiffy Lube in Iowa. And technically he wore it. So, you know, not exactly the. the Jersey they wore in the Super Bowl, you know what I mean? Excuse me. So halfway through the box. I'm going to pack number five. Put these back. They and did you, you don't notice that? You gain weird tension. First, stop pulling when you got the tension. Then open the other side. Boom. Kenny Galladay? I don't know. Julio Jones? That's. Yeah, we'll put him for sale. Larry Fournette for sale. Oh, you got me. Another one of the rookies, a green foil rookie. <laughs> Look at this. Can you believe that? In the same pack. Yeah, you see, nope, that has the uh, the silver foil border too. But two of the same guy in the same pack. Darnell Savage, Dwayne Haskins, Tristan Hill, you cowboy lovers out there. So that was 
I'm missing some. Are you shorty forward? Oh, yeah, that is very, very cute, Panini. Oh, no, that was Kenny Galladay. That was the other, the eighth card. The guy I never heard of. So, oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, figure that out later. You know, I don't think Leonard Fournette's that bad of a player. I just think he's stuck on a crappy team with a rookie quarterback. Maybe next year. Right. Dwayne Haskins, isn't he starting? Am I imagining that? Hey, we got the internet. I'll look it up. That drummer. Between the NBA video and this video, the lesson of the day is if you don't know... Okay, we know who John Elway is. There's no secrets about that. These rookies, look them up. You know? Like, okay... I didn't go into detail on it in the NBA video, so we got time here, I'll do it. Why I'm not super big on Zion Williamson. One, we are two months into the season. He has yet to play an official game. Two, the weight issue. He's in New Orleans. There have been people who ate themselves out of the league before. I'm not saying it'll happen to him, but it's definitely something. If I'm one of the coaches, I'm concerned about it. The big one is, he played at Duke. Everyone at Duke is awesome. They're all seven feet tall. They're all going to get drafted in the NBA. It'd be different if he was the guy at, you know, SFA State in East Texas or, you know, some school in New Mexico you never heard of. But he went to Duke, so he didn't exactly do that by himself. You know what I mean? Uh-oh. Look who's on top. I mean, Big Ben. No, my bad. Not Ben. Benny Snell Jr. <laughs> Let me set that down. Jimmy Garoppolo, Jamal Adams, Marcus Mariota. We got another good one. I believe this is my second or third one of the these, but I'm hanging on to them until otherwise. Boom. Carter Minute So I'm gonna keep this one. Marcus Mariota, Jimmy Garoppolo, and the, the rest of the freak show, they're all going for sale. And they, let me explain that, too, while we're sitting here. There's a big difference between, I learned this in, in music, you know, when I used to do a lot of concert reviews and record reviews and that sort of thing. There is a big, big difference between I don't like it and it's no good, you know? There's a lot of stuff that's great, I'm just not a fan of, and then there's some stuff that is just god-awful, and I do like it. Have you ever seen a movie called Sarah S Saving Silverman? It is as stupid as stupid gets. It is never, ever going to be called a great movie, but I like it. I think it's enjoyable. So, that what goes along here. Marcus Mariota, I don't collect him, I don't have any need for it, but yeah, he's a very good quarterback. He holds, like, all of the records in Oregon. Oregon or Oregon State? What does it say on the back? Nah, he's been in the NFL too long. But wherever he went to college, he's the man. Jimmy Garoppolo. I got the Jamal Adams green foil parallel. I married Gary V. I like this. He likes the Giants, right? All right, two left. So, Cortland Sutton, great player. This guy doesn't seem to get enough love. Hey, Ezekiel Elliott, great. Hey, here's your great player. Here's Drew Brees. Patriots rookie who is never ever going to play as long as Tom Brady's around. And what we got here? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll get to that one in a second. Nick Boza, L.J. Collier, Brian Burns. He's on the practice squad, in New Orleans. I don't think he's going to be Barry Sanders or something, but Will Jordan Humphrey. 
He went to UT. He is very popular around here for being a good football player. Obviously, he's in the NFL, but just a cool dude. And I don't know if the rest of the country cares, but Central Texas cares about little Jordan Humphrey. There we got Cortland Sutton, Ezekiel Elliott of your Dallas Cowboys. They have several that can go. Uh, let me. I think I got doubles of this one. This is we'll figure out what to do with that later. Jared Stidman is definitely going for sale. I mean, that's like uh, God bless America. Who was the coach of the Texans? Uh, Gary Kubiak. You know what Gary Kubiak's claim to fame was before he was a coach? He was John Elway's backup. That's the faith that this guy's going to hold because he was Tom Brady's backup, at least at the end. Nick Boza. I like this guy's style. I don't know if anyone saw when uh, when he went to Ohio State, and Baker Mayfield went to Oklahoma, and Baker Mayfield did something very disrespectful in a bowl game once upon a time. So earlier this year, he sacked the crap out of Baker Mayfield and really embarrassed him in front of the whole stadium of people. I'm into that. I'm into the showmanship stuff. You know, speaking of the Dallas Cowboys, it – it always kind of bugged me that, like, Emmett Smith just didn't have a personality. There's a lot of people who like that. He scored the touchdown, give the ball to the ref, and run to the sideline. But, I don't know. I dug people like Michael Vick. I'm not talking about his off-the-field stuff. But the irony of Michael Vick is him doing those two years in prison probably added five years to his career because, he, you know, his body got a break. He was still working out, but wasn't having the co collisions, you know? So... One of those weird things about life. All right, last pack of the box. What do we got? We got what we got. Ken Kenyon Drake. Oh no, we don't need that in my life. Evan Ingram. We're gonna. Yeah, he'll go in the for sale pile. Derek Henry. No thanks. Larry Fitzgerald. You're going for sale. Yeah, I can't even pronounce that. <laughs> Riley Ridley, the brother of Calvin Ridley. Another name I can't pronounce. And Easton Stick. Oh, what is this guy's real name? Easton Stick. Are you? All right. Weird ending to the video. So you don't want to watch me sleeve up cards for the next couple minutes. I think this pack or box went really well. And a nice stack of stuff that I'm going to keep. Elway, Hopkins, Drew Locke rookie, Tom Brady, Marlon Mack jersey card. Minishu rookie, and look for these later on today and tomorrow as they will be online, and the rest of it will process accordingly. So, as you can see, the, the football box went a lot easier than the NBA stuff. Man, I gotta whoa, I need to start paying attention to the NBA. Is it NBA now? And you can go back to last year 2018, 2019, 2020. It's in a period like baseball was about five years ago, where the older generation is retiring and moving on with life. Looking at you, LeBron, LeBron, Wayne Wade, Carmelo Anthony, you know, all those guys. It's the downhill side of their career. And there's a whole new generation of players coming up. And the one I've fallen in love with so far is Devontae Graham. You know, Zion Williamson, we'll see. We'll see when he gets on the court, you know. As far as this football stuff goes, playoffs start in a couple weeks, and we're wrapping up the regular season, so this is when it gets really, really interesting. Hope you enjoyed the Absolute Football Box. we got one more today. We're going to do some Topps Baseball, and we're going to get back to our regular programming on Sunday, Monday, and you know the rest of the week. So everyone who's traveling this weekend and going on the Christmas break, I said it yesterday. I'm going to keep saying it all the way through New Year's. Be safe. The drunks and the psychos are out. All the maniacs went crazy. You've got to watch out for the other guy. But be safe. You come back here and watch more Blast Beat ATX with me, Brian, a.k.a. Blast Beat Industries. Y'all have a good day.